Hi boys and girls, today we are going to be drawing a hot air balloon. Usually with videos like this, you wait until the end and then you get to do the steps, but today you're going to be watching the steps and doing them along with me. So the first thing you're going to do is write your name on the back of your paper. I want you to put it somewhere in the corner. This is just in case we have to erase or use the back of our paper because we made a mistake. So we don't want our name really big in the middle because we could use the back if we mess up. So I'm gonna put my name up in the corner. And then just flip it when I'm done. Your first step is going to be to draw a circle. But while we're drawing today, we're going to make sure that we're drawing lightly. That means our hand is light in our pencil. We are not pushing really hard. Because if we have to erase a mistake, it's easier to erase a light mistake than it is to erase one that was pushed very hard into our paper. So our circle can go anywhere on our paper. I'm gonna put mine right here. It's not a perfect circle, but that's okay. Next, you're gonna make some lines that come down off the hot air balloon, and then you're gonna close them. And that's because hot air balloons aren't really circles. They have a part that goes downward so that the flame that heats up the hot air balloon, that's why it's called a hot air balloon, makes it rise. Once you're done drawing your curves, you're gonna take your eraser and you're just gonna erase that part underneath the circle that we don't need, the, the line in between. So the bottom of our circle is gone now and we just have this curve and the top of our circle. And then we're gonna add a basket for somebody to stand in. So a little bit down from the bottom of your hot air balloon, because they need space to stand up, you're gonna draw a parallel line or a line that is even. Then just turn that into a square. And we need some strings to attach our basket to our hot air balloon. So we're gonna add those strings. Now the hot air balloon itself looks a little plain so we're gonna start at the top and we're going to divide our hot air balloon into sections. I like to curve my lines and follow the shape of my hot air balloon to make it look a little more 3D, a little more realistic. So I just follow that curve and now I have a hot air balloon but it looks a little plain on my paper. It looks a little boring. So now I'm gonna add a background. First, I think I wanna add a hill. So I'm gonna start at the edge of my paper and I'm just gonna go downwards. And I need some more hills, so I'm gonna add more on the other side. And this hill is going behind that one, so I can't see the rest of that line. So if you do hills that go behind one another, you have to choose which one is in front, this one's in front, and which one's behind, this one's behind. Now, I think I want some clouds. So I'm gonna draw a cloud that's kind of running off my paper. You don't have to do the same placement clouds as I do, you can put them anywhere you want. I just think I wanna put mine running off my paper a little bit. One more, I think. Your paper will not look exactly like mine, and that is okay. It is your art, and it is beautiful. Once we get a drawing that we like, and we think we're done with, we don't have to erase anything else, you're gonna take a Sharpie, and you're going to Sharpie every line on the front of your paper. Every line that you want to keep is gonna get traced in Sharpie. Okay, boys and girls, I have fun with that. Step. We will talk about color in the next video. Bye!